again. We are on the previous lesson we talked about how to locate a point, how to locate a particular point on the topographical map by using green difference system. And now we are going to see the bearing. I think that you know there, when you talk of bearing, this is a direction of point from another point which is stated in equilibrium. Or it's like an angle. Find an angle of a point from another point. That is all. So let me give you an example. Suppose that this is a map. This is, let's have this. Suppose that this is a map. And remember that the map, as we said previously, is numbering these two words and those lines remember horizontal line which are numbering north words and those lines remember that we call them that the eastings and for example we have 20 and 70 we have 11, 12, 14, 15, 16 so those are eastings and so those are north things and those are eastings so we are going to find the bearing Bearing of, for example, we have two points. We have point X and we have point, for example, point Z. And they ask you, find, find the bearing, the bearing of Point X from, from Z. For example, this is a question. We are going to see how we can find bearing of point X from Z. So, let me give you the summary of the steps. If you want to find bearing of a point from another point, you may follow the, the following steps. Steps to find the line. Step number one identify. Identify the two points. Ask it in the question. You will look at this map and you see where is the point Z? Where is the point X? For example, we find that the point Z is here, and we find that the point X is here. Go to the step number two. Look at, sorry, draw a straight line that joins the two lines. The two points. As step number one has said, we have to identify the, the two points. Point X is here and point Z is here. The second step it is to draw a straight line that joins the two points. Look at here. We have a. We have to draw a straight line that connect that join this point X and point Z. Okay? After drawing that line, you will look at step number three to find the words you see. Look at where there is word four and two. The word. The point they are talking about is point X from Z. It means the words from is from by the letter Z. After finding this letter Z, the step number three it is to find the words or the letter that is from by the, the Z. The letter Z. It is from is from by letter Z. Meaning that you will look at where this what, this point Z is located. It is finding. And we go to the step number four. Draw a cardinal point. Point on radar front front word from. And remember the word, the letter which is that uh, that for all, that for all the word from is Z. Okay? 
it is said to come to the point. The letter that is that followed the word from is said as we that find in step number three. You have said, and you draw that cardinal point. You draw the cardinal point where? Here. here. As you draw the cardinal point, remember that this is north and this is south. You will have an arrow, an arrow, and that arrow you will step number five. You will have an arrow, and this arrow will move in clockwise direction. Remember that clockwise direction it moves in like this. It moves like this. You yeah. have the clock move in this direction. In that, you will take this arrow, you, you draw it so that it can reach on the point, to reach on the point that connects the two points. Meaning that you will start from this north, we start from this north. You bring this arrow until to the line that connects the point X and Z. When you reach to this line that connects the point X and Z, we stop from here. You will stop from here up to here. You will stop from here. And after that, you are going to take a protractor. Remember that the protractor is a ruler which has this shape. It's a ruler which has this shape. Remember that this protractor is, is graduated with degrees. Meaning that after this, you will measure the arrow from here up to here. And what you will get, remember what you will get will be called a bearing. It means we say Z, the bearing of Z will be equal. If you have a protractor, a protractor must be put here so that, the, remember that here on the north must be related with the zero on a protractor. So that you can be able to count the number, the number of degrees from here, from zero, coming to this side. Let's suppose that, uh, anyway, this is a straight arm. From here up to here, it is a straight arm. Remember that a straight arm has 180 degrees. And you have also, from here up to here, we have 180 degrees. And you take your protractor, you measure from here up to here. Let's suppose that. This side has 40, 42, 42 degrees. We say Z will be equal to 180 plus 42 degrees. And then you get uh, 180 plus 42, we get this is 12, 100. We get 222 degrees. So therefore Z is equal to 222 degrees. And you don't forget that bearing of the place is made of three digits. If you find that bearing is under three digits, you must add zero. For example, if you get the bearing of 40 degree only, you can, it cannot be written in this form. It, you must add zero here so that you can have a three digits. One, two, three. I think that is clear. Next, we are going to see also bearing bearing of point uh, point z from x let's find also point bearing po bearing of point z from x bearing of point z from x eh? bearing of point z from the point where is point z and where is point x point z here x is here after finding point X and Z on, the, on your map, you will draw a straight line as we did it previously. After drawing that straight line, you go to the next step to see the word. Which word? Which letter that is followed? The word from. The word from is followed by the word, by the letter X. And after this, you draw the cardinal point on that word. The letter is X. You come to the letter X. We draw cardinal, cardinal point here. We draw a cardinal point here. 
After drawing a cardinal point here, we shall see the next step where we use an arrow in a clockwise direction. We use an arrow in a clockwise direction. We shall take our arrow from this node. When we reach, remember, when we reach to the line that they connect, that connect the two points, we shall stop from there. We go immediately. We reach to the line that connect the two points. The line which connect the point X and Z is this one. Therefore, we shall measure the angle of this. Therefore, angle of point X. If we have a protractor, our protractor must be put on this here so that we start for, from zero. Your protractor must match with the zero, the beginning of the, the counting the number of objects. We count up to this line. If you find that, for example, this is 46 degree, you will come and you say point X is on the grid on the bearing of. Remember, it is always rated in three digits. If you forget that, you will lose your marks. And here, we don't write for the six only, but we start with zero. This is zero for the six degree. That is how to find bearing. That is how we can find the bearing of point X. And let's also see another thing that is related to bearing. Trend. Trend. How to determine the trend? Determine. 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 The trend of point X from Y from Y or from sorry from W from W. Suppose that this is a map extra extra. We have point uh, X. We have point X. Sorry, we have point W and we have point X. If you are finding trend, the way we find the trend, it is the same as the way, it's somehow the same steps we follow when you are finding bearing. For example, we look the first step we can find the point. We have point X, X and W. After that, we draw as a two points. After drawing that straight line that connects the two points, we look at the one from is rolled by W. And after finding that it is rolled by W, we draw a cardinal point here. We draw a cardinal point. After drawing the cardinal points, we measure the angle. We first look at the bearing. We look at the bearing. After looking at the bearing, this is a bearing. When we reach to the line that, that join, the line that connect the two points, we stop from here. For example, we measure like 55 degrees, for example. And we write trend, we shall say, will be equal to 0, 55 degree up to, we measure also again. We are going to have an arrow that is going to cross when it meets with the line for the first time. We don't stop. We also move until we meet the line that connects the two points at the second time. For example, we shall have this is when we meet to this line, we don't stop. Until we meet it again, we meet it with here. You see? It means what you see, what you, the, the angle you are going to measure from here up to here is what we call trend. It means from 15 up to 30, number, that amount of degree, that is how to find the trend. For example, if we find it from here up to here, this is 180 degree, and the measure from here up to here, for example, let's find 60 degree, and therefore we shall get 240. When you take 180 plus 60, you shall get 240 degree. It means the trend of point X from Y will be equal to 15, 55 degree up to 240 degree. To find to determine the, the trend of point, for example, point uh, Y W from X from X. 
We shall also do it as normal as usual. Okay. I think it is understandable to combine the trend of a point from another point. And uh, I thank you to watch this video and I think that everybody can be able to find bearing of a given point from another point and uh, it is uh, clear understand this way of calculating bearing and I wish you to have a nice time but don't forget to subscribe, like and give comments so that all posted videos will be, will be received from your phone and will be able to follow our subject of geography. Thank you.